Hello, I'm Dennis Martin, Turfgrass Extension Specialist with Oklahoma State University. I'm going to visit with you about buffalo grass, a nice warm season perennial native turf grass that can be used in full season lawns in Oklahoma. Buffalo grass is native to the central and western United States and from central Mexico up through the Great Plains into south central Canada. It's been used in Oklahoma from the natural stands where it occurs, but also over the last 20 years it's experiencing increased use because of new seeded types and also vegetative type cultivars. There are several seeded type and vegetative types that can work very, very well in full sun lawns in Oklahoma. And those cultivars for vegetative types include Legacy, Prestige, and 609. Seeded types include Cody, Bowie, Bison, and also Texoka, which is an older cultivar but can still be used as a turf grass. Buffalo grass is usually green from its time of green up somewhere in late March to early April through the summer if we get adequate rain or if you have irrigation through the first frost in the fall. It will be tan much like Bermuda grass throughout the winter months. It greens up approximately the same time or slightly earlier than do common Bermuda grass lawns. In order to have a nice buffalo grass lawn that stays free of Bermuda grass and other invasive plants, it's important to have good sanitation practices that clean the area of those problematic invaders before we ever establish. So if you're planning on having an effective buffalo grass lawn, the process actually starts the year beforehand. And it's not uncommon to start to kill out a uh, unsatisfactory lawn in August of the previous year with Roundup, do a few follow-up sprays in September, and then overseed with a ryegrass or a sterile cereal rye to have green color and erosion-resistant ground cover. The following spring, we would then proceed in mowing down the erosion-resistant cool season grass, killing it out with Roundup, and scouting for reinvasion spots of Bermuda grass. Then somewhere in the May or June time frame, we would do the establishment of buffalo grass. So in a proper uh, scenario where there are undesirable types already present, it could be a two-season process or a two-year process. We want to show a spot here in this uh, fantastic looking legacy buffalo grass lawn where we had some Bermuda grass that made it through the initial uh, sanitation period. Now Bermuda grass is very well adapted to heat and drought in Oklahoma as well. It has a special storage organ called a rhizome which is a white underground creeping stem which you can see here. Oftentimes one thinks they're pulling all the Bermuda grass out because they pull all the top growth out of it but they forget to go after the underground white storage stem called the rhizome. Here I've taken a shovel and cut small slabs of sod, flipped them over so that we could effectively hunt for the Bermuda grass. As you can imagine this is very time consuming and so we really want to clean this up before we ever establish the buffalo grass because there are no herbicides that can selectively take Bermuda grass out of buffalo grass once it's present uh, in the stand. It has to be mechanically removed like this. Now buffalo grass is fine for many full, su full sun lawns. Uh, it won't give you year-round green color so think of it as what we would be using in place of Bermuda grass had Bermuda grass never been brought to the United States. Uh, buffalo grass performs well under lawn management conditions, commercial grounds. It's not used on sports fields though because of high traffic scenarios. And we have an a area of Oklahoma gardening here where we have a lot of foot traffic where we can show you some of it, the excess wear because of the large amount of foot traffic that is present. Now when, once you've cleaned up an area and you're planning to establish it, uh, you have to make a decision whether you're going to go with a seeded type or a vegetative type. And if you're going with vegetative types, you can buy sod of types that were seeded into the field, or you could use a uh, clonal female type, such as with the legacy that you hear, see here in the buffalo grass lawn at the Oklahoma Gardening Studio grounds. Or you could cut sod into plugs and place them on 18-inch centers. 
With proper management during June, July, and August, you can actually grow a buffalo grass lawn in during a 90 to 120 day window with good mowing, fertilization, irrigation, and a little bit of hand uh, weed control. Uh, Bermuda grass and buffalo grass have similar mowing heights requirements in that if you're willing to mow frequently, you can mow a buffalo grass lawn down to an inch, but most of the time folks will choose to have it more low maintenance in around the three inch cutting height range and mowed approximately every two to three weeks. Uh, we'll hear some people say, well, doesn't buffalo grass only get to an inch tall? Well, that's in grazed scenarios out in rangeland, but in a really moist year, and if you fertilize heavily, it can get to eight or 10 inches in height. So uh, it can get quite high uh, in, in its height if we fertilize it and if it's a moist site. Herbicide-wise, we can use herbicides similar to what we use on Bermuda grass, but we have to, to uh, use lighter end rates uh, and be very, very careful uh, during the heat and also when the buffalo grass is immature as it can be injured. But it certainly can form a very nice, dense, and relatively low maintenance lawn if we understand how to properly maintain it and take good steps for sanitation to clean up, clean up undesirable invaders before we ever get it planted. So you might want to give buffalo grass a try if you'd like a native warm season perennial grass lawn.